Hi, uh, I'm Joachim Karlén, product manager at Toby. We're here at GDC to show you some stuff uh, we're doing in VR uh, with eye tracking. So I'm going to go through some things with you and here we go. So one of the key things, actually a very simple use case, is helping the user adjust the headset. Uh, so here you can see my pupils and the boxes are corresponding to the lenses. So helping the user position the HMD in an optimal way can be done using eye tracking. So now I'm moving my headset up and down and then I'm also turning, changing the lens cup separations in order to get an optical visual experience. So personal calibration is something we do in order to adapt for, for the differences in anatomy in between gamers or players basically. So what you see here is a typical avatar representation in VR. It's kind of dull, the eyes are looking far away and yeah, it's not that really that alive. But in this mirror, we have an, an avatar that has representation of my eyes. I can, I can blink, I can look around. And especially, you know, when you have a multiplayer environment with avatars, this is going to be crucial in order to make these avatars look quite a bit more real. Yeah. So we have some stations here that I want to show you quickly. But first of all, teleportation in, in, in VR is usually done with, an, uh, with a hand controller, but you could just as well use your eyes. So these cylinders here, they, they become yellow when I look at them. So th this means that I can in a very natural way, an easy way, do a teleportation into a station. So let's go into what we call natural interactions first. This is a th stone throwing demo. And in real life, when I'm throwing a stone, I usually look at the things that I want to hit. So this gray stone is, works like a, a regular stone in VR. It's, my success is only dependent on, oh, <laughs> my success is only dependent on how good I am at moving my hand controller. But because of the fact that the game knows where I'm looking, I can start doing other things. For instance, the stone over there is aware of me looking at it. So picking up the stone is just looking at the stone and pressing the button like this. And you can imagine many different ways of picking up things. Just look at it and pick it up. And also now these, all these bot bottles are aware of where I'm, where I'm actually looking. And my intent is, is really connected to where I'm looking in VR and in real life as well. So I'm going to try and hit the stone over there. Yeah, there you go. And I'm going to hit that one over there. And, and a game developer could imagine doing many different kinds of interactions based on, on knowing the intent of the, of the user. Okay. So what we've done is integrating, uh, doing a retrofit on the HTC Vive, uh, integrating the eye tracking technology inside the actual HMD. And with that, you could start doing really kind of interesting interactions. So let's imagine throwing a stone. In VR, it's only connected to how good you are at moving your hand controller. So I'm trying to hit the bottle over there, and it's kind of hard. But with eye tracking, the user actually knows, or the game actually knows where I'm looking. So then you can start doing other kind of things. So for instance, the pink stone over there is aware of where I'm looking so I can pick it up just by looking at it and pressing the button and the same goes for these bottles they are aware of my gaze so the application can help me in this case hit the bottle because it knows what I'm looking at so and in the future there will be HMDs that have this technology integrated and for in order to get really good eye tracking you will want to have an integrated eye tracking system and uh, we will not provide this as a plug-in or any kind of uh, any kind of a peripheral to switch on to add on to the system so moving on uh, your eyes are really good at selecting things because the eyes are really really quick so it means for instance in this experience we we, we have experimented on using the eyes to select things and to guide things. So for instance, in this demo, I'm selecting the missile that's coming at me and guiding the missiles back at the drone. And that means that you can have really, really fast-paced gaming 
because the eye is so quick much quicker than your hand controller much quicker than your head and and also when you're using your head, eyes to do this you avoid turning your head in a very na unnatural way as is usually common in VR and lastly let's talk about what we call intelligent interfaces so by doing making objects gaze aware in a game you is they become much more easy to interact with so these two droids for instance they react to my gaze now I'm moving my gaze back and forth in between the droids and that one to the left seems to want to give me money so I'll I'll just press the button here and get some money and I think that's going to be useful because over here is my shopping experience I look at the cylinder and my menu shows up like this so and I can yeah let's buy some balls I will buy some balls and here's the drone delivery of the balls yeah I'm really happy with that. So let's open the balls, uh, open the boxes. And, and also, you know, these objects are really, really easy for me to, to, to start manipulating because I'm switching my focus in between the balls and then I can do, feel like a superhero doing telekinesis on these things. Because the, the shifting between objects becomes as fast as my eyes are. And the TV over there, when I look at it, I can change the channel very, very easily. I look at the roof and there's a slider over there. I can really, really easily manipulate any kind of object here. So that's some of the things that we've, we've done in these, in, in these demos. And what we want to do is inspire game developers to start doing eye tracking enabled VR content because uh, in some time there will be commercially available eye tracking enabled units in the marketplace and that's when the content needs to be ready. So we're going to provide a dev kit into the market and uh, we have no details right now regarding exactly when it's available or the price but if you're interested you should go to tobygaming.com and, and there will be more information and sign up there and we'll get back to you when, when we're all ready. The dev kit contains of our uh, SDK and a retrofitted Vive. So it's a prototype built by us and uh, that's how we make this available for game developers.